Hello everyone, my name is Amber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and saying to watch me. Today we are back with more fairy tale. We are watching episode 121, The Right to Love, which we got some scary stuff going on with Zaref. So I am excited to get watching with you guys. Keep in mind, if you want to see my reactions early, you can go to my Patreon page, the description below to get access over there. But without further ado, do let's get started oh no we're back here uh-huh uh -huh. hi hello hello my name is elder grant i cannot believe my eyes lord seraph is standing before me yeah hi or is this merely a dream uh -huh. a fantasy uh-huh the keys bring them at once uh-huh the who I can't move a muscle. There is no need for those keys of yours. As you can see, I'm wide awake. I'm wide awake. How many atrocities did you commit to obtain them? Did you count the lives you took? Oh god. Every one was a meaningless loss. Victims of a lie that an old fool put stock in. What? But that's impossible. Oh boy. The keys you sought were just stories concocted by a group of desperate fanatics, cultists who longed for my resurrection. Oh. And you took their fiction as gospel. I was never asleep, so there was never need for those keys. The man oh. who stands before you now is the true Black Wizard Seraph. Oh. What it's do terrifying. you mean you were never asleep? Yeah, please explain. I watched you fall with my devil's eye! You were so weak you couldn't hold your own against one of my underlings! At the time, that was my full power. But no longer. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Four hundred years to be exact. I witnessed countless human conflicts and the devastation they wrought. One day, as if by a miracle, I learned the true value and glory of life. Oh. I gained peace and serenity. The more I valued life, the more this cursed body of mine would steal the souls of those around me. I must forget how to appreciate the sanctity of human life. Oh, weird. So you've been waiting for something to force you to fight against the value of life? Yes. But your abysmal intentions have rid me of those shackles for good. Oh. Acnologia will bring an end to this era. And it was your evil thoughts that summoned it forth. What are you talking about? Yeah. What is Agnologia? Yeah, explain. Now you must be punished. There are so many questions I get to ask I'll you. I punish you for summoning Agnologia to this world. For summoning Agnologia? Hades, it was you alone who caused me to forget the importance of life. Oh. Okay. Is he gonna die? Repent while you still can. Oh, that was a scary way to start the episode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, this is not funny. These two have a serious issue. Meldy, you don't seem to be very happy. <laughs> Let's forget about Grimoire Heart and Lord Zareph, too. Oh. Talvins, do you see them? What's here? Is it true? Were you the one in charge? Of destroying my hometown? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, honey. They weren't good people. And I feel like you have always known that. You just didn't want to accept that. Because, like, you've helped them destroy shit, too. I lost my family. All of my friends. I deserve to know. It was me. I always intended to tell you the truth someday, and I thought that by mastering Arc of Time and reaching the Grand Magic World, I could bring about our second try. Oh, uh, yeah. Fair. I believed our actions in this life had no real meaning, because we hmm. would be able to start all over again. It enabled me to act in horrific ways without remorse. I honestly thought the second time around would be my true life, and yours as hmm. well. That's the reason. I did what I did actually do kind of believe her like it makes sense if you're literally have time magic and you think you're gonna be able to arc of time back i had no right to cause so much suffering a fool who committed countless atrocities in the pursuit of a delusion when all i needed to be happy was right in front of me Aww. i can't ask for your forgiveness 
But at least let me say I'm sorry. You're filled with hatred for me. However, now there's no need for you to dirty your hands ever again. I can promise you that. Oh. Because after today, oh, I won't be here. Oh. You're free to live your own life now. No. So go out here and make something of yourself. Bitch, get back up here. <laughs> that was such a beautiful scream. Not to gush, but the that was a great dub. I guess that makes this a happy ending. Bro, get back up here. Don't be so dramatic. I know you did terrible things, but get up here. <laughs> Thank you. It's not, we're not letting it end this way. You need to atone for your sins. You saved me. Let's live together. Yeah. Oh. A sensory oh. leak? I feel it all. Your frustration. Oh. And your sadness. You can't Cute. blame yourself. You made a mistake. But you're still a mother to me. Oh. Nothing will ever change that. I forgive you. Just promise me you won't talk like that ever again. Oh. I can't bear the thought of being alone without you, old. Aww. Live life with me. Yeah, you girls get to have a fresh start. And I'm glad for you both. I'm glad that resolved really nicely because it could have got much worse. That could have been a disaster. Yeah, baby. Back here again. Okay. <laughs> And when I say a lot worse, it could have been like this. No! this what did you do to our master? He's dead as a doornail. Death is too good for you. May you suffer in the afterlife. Oh, that's pretty fucked up. What's happening? It's here. Agnologia. Oh, it's a, it's, it's a, like a, 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 a being and not like a thing. Is this a freaking joke? Now deal with it. After everything that's happened, I don't have any other choice but to cancel this year's trial. Aww. Come on. Yeah, we've been through worse, so let us finish. I ain't leaving this island till I'm ass class. <laughs> did the chicken man scramble your brains, or did you just forget you're not in the running? Oh. <laughs> First, a council member manipulated our memories and snuck yeah. in. Yeah. Then, Grandpa Hart interrupted everything. Yeah. Now, when you consider all that, it really can't be helped. Come on. Are you going to take <laughs> this crap lying down? Dang it. Oh, don't worry. Next time you'll win it for sure, my beloved. <laughs> <laughs> Pose a real man knows when to call it quits. Hey, what's with all the whining, huh? You guys all sound like a bunch of freaking toddlers. If you babies want to throw in the towel, then that's fine by me. So that means I'm the winner by default. Also, Kama has fairy glitter. Can we address that? I'll make an exception and let you take the final test. What? If you can defeat me, then I'll promote you right here in- Oh. I am not going to hold back, Gramps. <laughs> Come on, fire it up. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So what's death like? I like oh, a death, death. death. <laughs> You've had your fun, Loxus. Now don't pester the girl. His perception is much sharper. I totally forgot that Loxus hasn't seen Lizana yet. So that's cute. I'm glad they acknowledged that. He seems like a pretty decent guy. But oh yeah, and you've never met Loxus. Don't believe the rumors you hear about Loxus. Deep Aww. down, he is a decent guy. You think so? I don't feel that way, but sure. The slacker, that's all. A slacker? A slacker. That's not how I would describe him. I guess I should meet him and see what he's like for myself. So, uh, how's your arm holding up? Well, no, I kind of like the way it looked when it was full of fairy glitter. It seems like the spell were off and everything oh. is back to normal again. <laughs> oh, so you don't have fairy glitter anymore. I wanted to apologize. Oh. For what? For ditching you when we looked for Mavis's grave. For being Aww. selfish. I'm sorry. I betrayed one of my closest friends. And I'll regret it forever. Oh. You were just doing what you had to to win. It's no biggie. I'm your partner, and I know how important S-Class rank is to you. So please mm -hmm. don't worry about it anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm glad the girlies got to talk that over. You do have to Even tell Papa. I didn't make S-Class this year either. 
I still need to bite the bullet and tell my dad the truth. Try not to look so excited over there. <laughs> Can't help it. It's not my fault this is so boring. Fishing is part of a man's spiritual journey. Oh, it's <laughs> a journey down my throat and into my belly. Eating the fish <laughs> isn't the important part. The thrill of using your hunting instincts. The sense of becoming one with Mother Nature. Survival of the fittest. Okay. This is the playground where men can feel alive. Oh, interesting. Check it out. I got a bite. Way to go. Now, pull it in. Gently. <laughs> Hold oh, on a minute. Their outfits are Nazis also cute. about to discover the true spirit of fishing, so don't interrupt us. <laughs> Connor would like to talk to you about something. Uh oh, we're doing it. My journey! This is my dinner! <sighs> are we doing it right here, right now? What does he know? <gasps> Wouldn't that be scandalous if he knows? Did you know that the reason I joined the guild was so I could find my father? Actually, that's the first I've heard of it. <gasps> so he doesn't know. Oh, no! You telling me your old man was a member of Fairy Tale too? Uh, yes. Oh my gosh, this is so awkward. Go, Kana, tell him. You can do what it. What are you still doing here? His name is Gildarts. Huh? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! The things kept getting in the way. So what you're saying is. You're my. Uh -huh. Which one is your mother? What? Sarah, what? Naomi, Clara, Tina, Mary. Yes, you did. The hair color's all wrong. Emma, Lila, Jenny, Sydney, Kate. Gildards. Just how many women have you been with? No, Sylvia. That's gotta be it. I finally tell the truth, only to realize my old man is a deadbeat who can't keep it in his oh, pants. Oh no. I won't be moving in. I would hate to ruin your game. Ah! Just carry on like I'm not around. Oh. You're Cornelia's daughter. <gasps> no doubt about it. Oh, snap. Please let go. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Oh. Maybe I was just too afraid to tell you. Your mother, Cornelia, was the only woman I ever truly loved. Marrying her was the happiest moment of my life. Wait, you married her? She left me 18 years ago because all I ever did was work. It killed me. When I heard of her passing, it was like a shot to the heart. But part of her is still with me. Oh. I'm sorry. I should have realized long ago. Aww. It's just Aww. nice to finally have this weight lifted off of my yes, chest. Yes, girly! I had a daughter all this time. And she was right in front of me. That'd be very hard, yeah. I don't expect anything from you, okay? <laughs> you don't have to treat me differently. <sighs> but if you don't mind, may I say it just this once? Dad. I'm glad I met you, Dad. <laughs> I really am. I promise I'll never make you feel sad again. Aww. I'll always be here for you. Aww, that's so stinking cute. It doesn't matter whether it's on a job or hitting up the bars. <laughs> I'm not so sure you can keep up with me. <laughs> that's so funny. You give me the opportunity to be a loving father. Aww. Of a piece of shit okay i know he's gotten better but nah, let's not let's not let's not talk about your dad that was a really nice moment is that a dragon Wait, whoa. it was december 16th in the year 784 oh so, i don't like that we said a year on tenro island 784 and without warning destruction arrived oh oh my goodness i <laughs> i can't help but laugh because i 
really didn't know how the Ghana guild art situation would go. I actually did think he was going to be like, but I'm like celibate. Like I, I've never been with a woman. Like I'm a virgin. Like there's no way I'm your dad. It would be like a whole like, who's Kana's dad sort of thing. But no, it was the like opposite where guild arts is just a literal like man whore that he's like, was it Betty? Was it this person? Was it this lady? And it's like, oh my God, like stop listing off women who is not my mother. <laughs> like what the fuck, dude? Like that's not okay. <laughs> I was about to be mad at guild arts. I was gonna backhand this man, but he redeemed himself and he, you know, figured it out. And he's like, of course, like the, the, I, I loved her. I married her. The only woman I've ever loved. Like we were together and then, you know, I was too committed to my job. Just so she left me. So it, it does all make a bit more sense. And I'm not saying Gildard's needed to, you know, be chased. I think he was obviously in the original relationship with Kana's mom. I think, you know, when you go on these very long quests, you obviously like, probably gonna hook up with some ladies so i'm not saying he needed to be it was just like way too much that he's like oh no are you this person's daughter are you this person's daughter and it's like sir stop but it's a very sweet moment and i love that like guild arts is like i want to like i want to be your father i want to be that for you i want to be by your side and essentially make up for that time and be there for you which I think is so sweet. So I hope that like later on we do get moments of them together and like he comes in or something and saves the day for her. Like I would like more of that father daughter interaction going on occasionally. I don't need it all the time, but I would love if like occasionally, like even just in the background of like the guild, we see them like drinking together now. That would be sweet. Granted, I get he's gonna be gone a lot. So. I'm keeping expectations low because of that. But it would be sweet. I would like it. So I don't know. Well, we will see. I'm not really intending on having a bunch of content with them together. But it'd be nice just to have like a little bit. Um, Along with that, the um Zerup situation seems to be getting out of hand. The Acnologia, which I thought maybe was like a spell of sorts. And it may kind of technically be a summoning spell but i kind of just assumed it was like a spell and he had done it so it was like an entity thing forming and it's like couldn't be stopped then but no the acnologia looks like it's a dragon which is crazy because we don't have dragons in this world anymore though we do know igneal exists somewhere because they did show us a shot that's like, hey, Natsu needs you. Like, maybe you should go help. And he's like, I don't want to interfere with humans. We do know dragons are somewhere out there. But the fact that, like, the Acnologia looks like a dragon is concerning, but also very intriguing. And the fact that they said the year and stuff makes me incredibly nervous. Because it's it sounds serious. Like, this is the end of a, you know, era. So what is going to happen? I'm very, very, very curious to see how and what is going to start happening. Obviously, we are getting close to the end of this arc and whatever happens. I don't know. I don't know what the next arc is. I would assume it's probably like the Acnologia arc or something. But usually our arcs have like a very distinct end to them where I feel like this is like pushing into one. But I guess we're leaving Tenra Island, so eh, fair enough. We'll see. But oh my goodness, I just, oh, I usually we have like a lot of funny time after we like kind of wrap up with the big bad. This one, I feel like we still have the looming Xeroph situation in Acnologia. So it's like, I'm like, ha ha ha, oh, <laughs> you know, it's hard to uh, have fun. Along with that, I am glad that uh, Ultier, and Meldy had their like moment. They were able to kind of like come to terms with one another's pain, understanding that Altier never intended on hurting anybody per se. It was just, she didn't even consider this life to be real anymore. She intended on, you know, mastering the arc of time and then going back and starting a new life. And that would be her true life. So 
I get her position and her thinking. And honestly, I can't really be mad at her. Like, granted, yes, you're still hurting human life. And that's really bad. But if you... Like, I think if someone had that power and, you know, it's just like, if I can get stronger, I can do this. I think it's hard to, you know, hard to not think the way she did. Because she's like, nothing matters because I will master arc of time and all this will be irrelevant. Like, you know, you just believe in yourself. So I am glad that the girls worked it out there too. I can't really be mad at Ultir for just everything in her life and how unfortunately it went down. I'm glad that Loxus is here. I'm really glad that they did acknowledge the fact that Wendy has not met Loxus. Thank God, Wendy. I'm so glad Wendy was not there for like the Battle of Fairy Tale. I would have felt horrible for Wendy. But I am also glad that Loxus had a moment with Lazana and acknowledged her because I totally forgot that connection. That like, oh yeah, like Loxus wasn't here. We got Lazana back. So like he's literally seeing like a phantom of Lazana basically. He's just like, are you actually here? Like what's it like coming back from the dead? <laughs> like it was very funny. I'm still mad at Loxus though. I don't forgive him. Uh, but Altier has my apology. Sorry Altier, I didn't know what you were going through. And you were also just as troubled as Jalal. Maybe, I mean, you guys could, I, I mean, he's in jail though. Never mind. I was going to say, I was like, they could have a troubled kids club. Like they need to like apologize to one another. Mm, maybe, I mean, Jalal doesn't really need to apologize there, but also you're definitely need to apologize to Jalal. But yeah, I'm very excited for next episode to see what is going on with Acnologia and where all of this is going to take us. So thank you guys so much for watching this with me. It has been quite a time. Please make sure you guys hit that like button down below. That way you know you guys are super awesome. And I'll see you all later.